Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. So for those of you that have not seen the announcement yet, Trezor has just released their brand new product. So that's what we're going to do on this episode. I want to get into the all new Trezor Safe 7. So we'll get into the features. And if you guys like this wallet enough, you guys can pre-order, use the link tree. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe. You guys know what to do right here on the channel. Um, so again, if you do like this product, you guys can hit up the link tree. It is pinned in the comment section as well as in the description of every video on this channel. So it will be under buy a hardware wallet. Okay, so guys, the all new Trezor Safe 7. So as you guys know, here on the channel, we unbox tons of different cold wallets, also referred to as hardware wallets. These are devices that allow you to hold your private keys and they act as an intermediary. You have to physically tap the device in order to sign transactions. So the Safe 5 came out um, not too long ago. So how is the, the um, Safe 7 any different? Is it even better? Um, so that's what I want to get into on this episode. And there's quite a bit going on with this wallet. So the first thing is, and I mentioned it or I commented on the Twitter because some people were like, oh, it just, you just came out with the Safe 5. Well, I was thinking there's no Bluetooth. There could always be better security, which we'll talk about in this video. Probably one of the better features of this wallet. And on top of that, um, you know, just using this with your mobile device, right? So that's what I wanted to see, more integration, more mobile friendly. If we could take something like the Model T, pair it with our iPhone or, you know, your Android, that would be great. So let's dive into this. Um, and first we will play the video because I think you guys will get a lot out of that. So let's get into the video first. So I'll full screen that. All right, guys, so really cool there. I think that the quantum aspect is a big deal, and that's one of the key features that we're going to talk about right here on this episode. Um, Trezor does a very good job with their videos, so they're not hiring um, Red Cape Film, which is, you know, my video production company, but, you know, anyways, they are doing a good job with their videos. Um, guys, I will have videos in the near future on this device. I'm definitely going to be doing an unboxing, a setup video, and a full review when the time comes for this product. So guys, get subscribed. Um, definitely check out the other videos. I have videos on how to help you choose which wallet is best for your use case, dependent on budget, how, um, how much knowledge you have in the space, et cetera. So I've done videos, guys, on Trezor's ledgers they send me products all the time so trezor send the moose a wallet hit up my email so that'd be great okay guys so what is so cool about this wallet number one the aesthetics the aesthetics of this wallet is quite phenomenal um this is an all new display and it's very durable as well so we'll get into specifics let's zoom in here so the all new trezor safe seven experience da, 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 da. so again guys trezor has been around for 12 years and i did listen to their the presentation and what i did like and what 
you know, the reason you really want a hardware wallet in the first place is the fact that you own your money, right? So they brought up, I believe it was 1953, a lot of checks. They woke up one morning, 12 million people, and they lost access to their savings. So if you guys hold Bitcoin, okay, let's just go with Bitcoin, the digital gold, the store value. If you hold Bitcoin on a Trezor, okay, well, imagine this is the safe seven. You'll have all these features. If your bank account ever goes under, you know, you have access to your crypto and that's what it's about. It's about protecting the individual, right? So I always liked that vision and that was really cool. So I recommend you guys watch the full recording. Okay. So let's take a look, take control of Trezor. I like the design. It looks awesome. Okay. Okay. So ownership and control, I kind of already went over that and secured with Tropic 01. So that's a basically a stamp of approval for their security there as well. So let's get into, let's see if they've organized it here at all. So price wise, this is going to be 249 USD. Um, if you guys want, I always recommend the safe three under a hundred bucks. I was just working on a video, um, helping you guys identify which wallets, but the, these companies keep coming out with new products. So that's kind of how it's going to fit there. So let's dive into the safe seven. Okay. So available November 23rd, right now it's October 21st. So you can pre-order, you can pre-order the device. I believe it's a smaller amount. Then it gets into a much higher amount. So keep that in mind. So next gen secure chip. So the world's first secure element, uh, Tropic 01 sets a new standard. Okay. So I believe this is a company that they founded or they started. Um, and this is the first chip that is secure to that extent. Okay. So quantum ready security game protection against future threats with the first ever wallet built with quantum ready architect. So I don't know the specifics of what go in, goes into that. Maybe we'll do a video when the wallet's out and have more time to process. This is a first look video, but I like that they are already thinking in establishing themselves as a quantum ready wallet. Okay. So people think about that, right? With computing power, with computers just getting faster in doing so many transactions per second, quantum computers are going to be the next generation of that. So you have to really put procedures in place to protect your crypto. So if you want to avoid hacks, you got to really be quantum ready in the future. That's going to be a big term that people will use. Okay. So there you go. Dual secure element chip. So this is a big deal. I listened to it in the video. It's very difficult for me to get into, but um, Trezor Safe 7 combines the Tropic 01 chip with the additional NDA free EL6 plus element for stronger protection. So this is kind of like a safe, if you will. Like the easiest way I can explain it to you guys is this is like a safe within the physical device. It adds another layer of protection. So for the most part, let's say you guys open up, like for me, I have a hot wallet here. Let me put in a password. This will give you guys a little example. So this is a hot wallet. I just signed into the account. I got 1900 USD worth of Solana, okay? And this is in a hot wallet, okay? So what I like about it, and I'll share it with you here. If I go to my app on Solana, right? So here, I just put in my password. This is the same wallet, okay? So here, there's 1,900 USD. Not bragging about 1,900 USD. If I was bragging, the moose would whip out, you know, I mean, I'm gonna whip out a wallet, but it's gonna be something with like 50 Gs in it, right? So guys, what's cool is that this is very swift. I can easily, you know, do one thing on here, see it reflected on my computer. But the problem is, is that if somebody hacks my computer, I could lose those funds. So. Always keep in mind, if you guys are using a hot wallet, yes, it's quick, it's free, it's fast, but you don't have that additional layer of protection. So for me, I'm gonna have tens of thousands, if not millions, um, depending on where you guys start, maybe it's a couple hundred bucks. I wanna have most of my crypto on a hardware wallet. So if you have something like a Safe7, when we're in the quantum world where 
there's faster computers that are faster at hacking, they're learning, you're gonna want something like a physical device. So that's what I'm talking about here. Um, and having dual element protection, that's a big part of this. So you're really safeguarding your crypto and it's not as exposed and prone to attacks, okay? So there you go, here's the big headline. Future proof your crypto security with Trezor Safe Sevens quantum ready architecture. This was not de designed by a loose moose. This was designed by a team that's been working on this for several years. The only hardware wallet capable of receiving quantum secure updates against threats of tomorrow. So I love that, right? Again, I don't know all the specifics that go into it. That is awesome. So let's we'll screenshot that for the thumbnail. Wireless by design. This is what I am talking about. As a Canadian, we're talking about this. I was saying that if they were going to come out with a new wallet, it's going to at least have mobile capabilities. So Bluetooth, I've been waiting for Bluetooth because right now I love this wallet. This is my Trezor Safe, um, Trezor Model T, which I love. You guys can still pick one up. Use code Moose. No, not use code Moose. Go to the link tree. If you guys want to pick up a wallet, go to the link tree. You could maybe save some money. These go on and off sale. So keep that in mind. But guys, unfortunately, with the older models, you have to plug it in with a USB type C and it's very difficult to easily use when you're on the go. With the Safe 7, it's now got Bluetooth and it's got a, a battery inside. So what's cool is that you can actually sign transaction and pair it to the Trezor mobile app. So you can send transactions, I would believe, from the wallet if you have it on the go. So right now I have to have my laptop desktop around in order to use those devices, which is fine. It's more long-term, it's more secure. However, it's going to be a good feature. So now it's more like the Ledger Flex. So this is a Ledger Flex, one of the best wallets, around the same price, 250, 300 bucks USD. One of the coolest wallets, I love this wallet. Um, so now there is a competitor to the flex, okay? So Bluetooth convenience, easy wireless charging. And I did listen to the video. This is one of their best batteries. Um, I forget the term that they use, but this is not just your typical lithium ion battery. Um, it's got more features. Is it, I forget the term, but um, yeah, I remember lithium ion when they first came out after nickel cadmium and all that and these batteries are gonna be really good. So really cool, open source encryption, secures your Bluetooth connections on any device, awesome. So brilliant high res color touchscreen, perfection in every pixel, perfect. So Gorilla Glass, haptic feedback, so they're bringing all that. All the features from the Safe 3 and, sorry, 5, um, they're gonna have that for sure. So a nice 2.5 inch display and, 62% bigger than the Safe 5. So that's because it's going edge to edge there. And I like the way when you sign a transaction with this wallet, I saw it in the video that we played, it goes from the bottom all the way up all around. So I like that, right? Um, the fact that this will be a mobile friendly wallet, Bluetooth, and you can just carry it around with you and have all those features, that's awesome. This is, this is going to be one of the best wallets in the world when it comes out, just so you guys know. Okay, so that's my opinion. Um, built to endure, designed to impress. So this is one piece of aluminum, I believe they were talking about. So premium anodized aluminum unibody, reinforced glass back, IP54 rated. So dust proof, splash proof, awesome. So you can throw it in your backpack, you're ready to go. This looks awesome. And I've not used this wallet, but if you do go on the Twitters, not only in the video and whatnot, but you guys can see all that's going on there. So a lot of people have already kind of checked out this wallet. So look at that, you can see the nice touch screen, the nice display there. That's really cool. So if you guys want, definitely go to the Twitters and you can check out those features. So hold the sign. I love that, I love that right there. 
just awesome. So this is what I was talking about for a while. I like that you can just carry it with you and you got you get you got like one of the best wallets. So Quantum Ready, we'll see what that's like. They did a great job with this video. So a little bit jealous there. Do more with Trezor. So obviously this wallet is going to support thousands of crypto assets, um, specifically Trezor. I've owned from the Trezor one that could not hold Cardano. I believe I still have some Bitcoin on the Trezor one. Um, so this, this, this wallet's going to, to support tons of tokens, tons of tokens, now dApps. So you guys, look at this, you could be getting your coffee in the morning, you guys can hold your Ethereum and do DeFi, right? So right now I've been doing a lot of DeFi stuff. So when it comes to, you know, staking and really protecting the downside in crypto, I've been doing a lot with stable coins. So stay tuned. I will be doing a lot of tutorials on that as well. So for me, owning digital assets in a decentralized fashion with a non-custodial wallet, you own your seed phrase, using it with DeFi, that's the real power of crypto. You kind of become your own bank. So with Wallet Connect, awesome. Here you got PancakeSwap, um, looks like Aave there, and then you got Uniswap, you got OpenSea, um, Pump.Fun. How is it that the moose can read these logos, but he couldn't pass anything in math growing up? Wow. So supported third parties. So you got Jupe, you got MetaMask, you got some rabbit thing, you got Crypto.com, uh, Exodus, One Inch. Really cool, guys. So you can easily buy, sell, swap. This wallet has everything. This wallet has everything. So a quick look. Next Gen Tropic Secure Chip. So this is a new audited thing um quantum ready wireless connectivity high res intuitive touchscreen premium aluminum unibody ips54 rated protection buy sell swap compatibility guys this wallet has everything it gets the moose loose so guys hit up the link tree comment down below what are your first initial thoughts for me this is in my opinion right now the best crypto hardware wallet when it comes out Okay, there's nothing else like it. I have to say, I still love my other wallets, but if you guys have a lot of money in crypto, I would be researching this wallet. So we have links, you guys can pre-order, hit up the Trezor wallet um, link here. So you guys can go here and you guys can pre-order your device. So if you wanna help support the channel, if you're interested in any of these wallets, they're all great options. So you have the, uh, Bitcoin only wallet. I would probably go with the one that has other features. I think the green would look good. So anyways, guys, I've owned all these treasures, some of my favorite crypto wallets. With that being said, the moose is loose. This was a big, big announcement in my opinion. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Please, please, please comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And I really do appreciate you all for supporting me over the years. And we have more in store 2026. Cheers, everybody.